Good day everyone, this is Kurt Rexter Tumanon. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find the greatest common divisor or greatest common factor. But before that, what is meant by greatest common divisor? Greatest common divisor or greatest common factor is the largest number that divides evenly into two given numbers. The most likely when you have a word problem or something, it gonna give you two numbers and then gonna ask you for the greatest common divisor. For example, find the GCD of 8 and 12. One thing you gonna note is greatest common divisor will always be less than or equal to the minimum of 8 and 12. In other words, if you come up with the greatest common divisor, it cannot be greater than the smallest of the two numbers. Whatever we come up with our GCD, it cannot be greater than 8. Okay, so now let's find the greatest common divisor. To know how the GCD or GCF is computed, we must need to understand the meaning of these words greatest, common, and divisor. So let's first find the factors or divisors of each numbers. Factors or divisors means to find the products of two numbers. We look at 8 first. One obviously factor of 8 is 1 multiplied by 8 and then 8 is divisible by 2 so that 2 multiplied by 4 8 is divisible by 4 but we will not include it because 4 multiplied by 2 is already the same as this one so there is no other factors of 8 we can say that the factors of 8 is 1 2 4 and 8 the next number is 12. To find the factor of this number, we will write 12 as all possible product of two numbers. It can be written as 1 multiplied by 12, 2 multiplied by 6, and 3 multiplied by 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, we have the factors of two numbers. The next step is common. We look for common divisor for each of the numbers. 1, 2, and 4 are common factors of both numbers. And the last step is greatest. So, we look for the greatest common divisor among all common factors. 4 is the greatest or highest among these three numbers. That's why the GCD of 8 and 12 is 4. I have here some exercises in order to know if you fully understand the topic. That's all for today. God bless.